Curry here and welcome back to another video. Welcome back y'all to another video. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Yes, y'all read the title right. Today I'm expanding my palette, okay? Y'all know I'm picky when it comes to food. I have mentioned to y'all in quite a few videos at this point that I don't like meal prepping. Y'all know the struggles I have with meal prepping, but y'all also know how important I stress that it's important to meal prep, but I still struggle with it. And that's just one of, that's like my Achilles heel, okay? But today, Factor has came in clutch for your girl. They have sent me over some meals. Their goal is to make healthy eating simple. And y'all know, I tell y'all, when it comes to meal prep, I like simplicity. I don't like to do the most. I like to keep it basic, simple, and just make sure I'm hitting my macros, okay? That just, it just works for me. Now the thing that I personally like about Factor that just kind of stood out to me was the fact that their meals already come prepared, y'all. They are made with the freshest ingredients by real chefs. All you have to do is go online, pretty much pick your meals. Their menus are updated every week and you choose, you know, your diet, restrictions, your allergies, the foods you don't like, your taste preferences, and they ship your meals, they show up to your doorstep. All you have to do, open the meals, pop them in the microwave, pop them in the oven, and you are good to go. They basically do the hard part for you, and y'all know, I like that, I like that, because what that allows me to do is literally pick my meals and I don't have to worry about cooking them because y'all know that is the part that I don't like. <laughs> and if you are, let's say on a certain diet, if you are doing keto, if you wanna just be more carb friendly, more calorie conscious, if you want your dishes to be based, you know, like meat based or vegetable based or seafood based, you can customize everything to your liking. They also do have a factor plus option that allows you to add on additional like juices and soups and energy bites. I mean, the list just goes on. You can just see how easy it is to use factor, how easy and just convenient it is to have meals already prepared in the fridge. All you gotta do is heat them up and eat them. That's literally it. So I will have a discount code, a link to all that for y'all down below in the description box. Thank you again to Factor for being a sponsor for this portion of today's video. What is up y'all? It is a new day. Y'all, when I tell y'all we ate those freaking <sighs> Factor meals up so freaking fast. Russell ended up eating, I think three meals. He ate the chicken piccata, the mango salmon, and one other one. I think it was like the sloppy Joe. I ended up eating the rest of them, but of course, you know, we still gotta have food on deck. So I went to HEB and picked up a few things because um, I am getting ready to switch up, or not really switch up. I, well, I guess you can say I'm switching up. I'm getting ready to change um, the amount of calories that I'm eating. I'm getting ready to drop them by like 100 to 200 calories. But I have noticed, you know what? Let me sit y'all down real quick. So like I was saying, right now y'all know I'm cutting. Um, I'm eating about 1880 calories. And those are considered cutting calories for me. But the, the thing that's happening, I told y'all when it comes to just kind of playing around with your macros, with the calories that you're eating, it's really trial and error. And some things you may do, um, you may notice that you need to tweak a little bit just to fit your body. So some people could be more like carb sensitive and need to eat fewer carbs than other people. It's just so many factors that go into it. So y'all know I do like to use the TDEE calculator as like the base just for an idea as to where to start with my calories. But according to that, whatever it says my cutting calories are, I'll like start out with that number. And then if I'm not really seeing anything, I'll slowly start to drop that number by like 100, 200, 300 calories. So that's where I am right now. But the thing is that the cut is happening just a little bit slower than, I don't wanna say that I'm used to, but that it's happening slower than I would like, okay? Now I know, you know, I don't want to drastically lose, you know, a lot of weight in a short amount of time because the main goal is like really just First, it being like a healthy journey and making sure I'm having a healthy relationship with food. But then also I, you know, once you start dropping weight too fast, um, you risk like losing muscle, you risk dropping your curves as well. And you know, during this cut, I'm trying to preserve 
as much of the curve as possible. Now you can't spot reduce, uh, pick and choose where you burn fat, where you lose weight, but you can help it, you know? So that's where I am. So just with the 1880 calories, it's just happening a little bit slower. So I'm going to be dropping them by like 200, you know what? No, that's probably a little bit aggressive, more so probably like 100, 150 calories just to see how my body responds. And you know, if I start to lose too many pounds in like a week or so, then I'll just kind of, you know, increase those calories up by like 50 calories or something. You know, it's really trial and error y'all. Like it's going to vary per person, which is why, you know, I do, don't recommend y'all eating the amount of calories that I'm eating. Uh, because that may not work for you. You may need to eat something less. You may need to eat something more, honestly. So that's where I'm at. And y'all know on my upper body days, I usually eat less carbs than what I eat on my lower body days. So with that, I went to the store just to pick up some things because on my lower carb days, I'm gonna start eating like a lot of salads just because, you know, um, on those days, my main focus is really to make sure I'm hitting my protein intake, I'm eating more protein and eating uh, a lot more uh, amounts of fats than what I'm used to. With salads, y'all know if you eat like a big bowl of lettuce, of spinach, of greens in general, it literally is like barely any calories. And I want to eat foods on my lower carb days that are pretty low calorie, but are dense, you know? And with salads, I can eat a lot more of them throughout the day. That way I'm staying full um, and being satisfied without like noticing that those carbs are not, you know, in my diet for the day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, again, when it comes to macros, when it comes to calories, y'all, it's trial and error. Don't be stuck on a certain number. Don't be stuck on a certain macro nutrient breakdown count or anything like that. It's going to be trial and error. What worked for you, you know, a couple months ago may not work for you months later. Like you have to switch it. You have to make sure, you know, you're kind of just keeping your body on its toes because your body can get used to things. If you're doing things in a pattern, if you're not really switching up a lot of things, it can get used to it and you can, you know, run into um, the risk, so to speak, of hitting a plateau and just kind of staying stagnant and not really seeing any levels of like, um, you know, growth when it comes to your fat loss, your weight loss, the number you're seeing on a scale. But y'all know, I don't really recommend staying on the scale. I'm someone, I'm pretty off the scale. I rarely pop onto the scale just to kind of see and gauge where I'm at. But for the most part, it's really measurements. Um, it's really pictures. It's really how my clothes feel, how my body feel, and just like how I feel in general, you know? But yeah, let's get into this grocery haul because y'all know I can talk. For starters, y'all, your girl had to get some greens. So I got some shredded lettuce, got some romaine lettuce. I got a couple packs of those. Got some baby spinach because I'm gonna start putting this in my eggs in the morning just to get, you know, a little serving of greens as well. And then, hopefully that's not too loud, but we had some green onions. Y'all know I had used this um, in the salmon bowl that I made last week. Got some more carrots, a pretty big bag of carrots, but yeah, this is going to be great with some little light ranch. I got some cucumbers. Had to re-up on the Premier Protein, y'all know. This one has become my like new favorite flavor. These blue corn tortilla chips, we love to eat these with our ground turkey. So I usually more so eat these on my um, heavy carb days. Y'all know I said I was not going to buy any more Quest, but y'all, I could not resist. So I had to re-up on these birthday um, Quest Frosted Cookies now. I know Quest is going up in their prices, and yes, it's it's a little ridiculous. But just to have these on there, I would honestly, it's almost like I would recommend y'all getting the Frosted Cookies more than the uh, Quest Protein Cookies. Just because in here, there's only four versus in here, there's eight cookies that come in there. And each cookie by itself, you literally only need one just because they're so rich. So I almost recommend y'all get these. Um, so they are, depending on where you're at, they're gonna be like $10 a box. So just keep that in mind. But I was like, you know what? I just gotta get a couple more boxes and then I'm going, you know, 
Scout's Honor, be very strategic as to how I'm eating these because I just love them so much. Next, I picked up some dressing. I love this uh, Raspberry Light dressing by Kraft. Got us some Italian dressing just because I told y'all I'm about to be eating more salads. I also got some crushed pineapples, which won't be eating too many of these on my lower carb days, but I do like to add these in salads. And then I just got some little re-ups of the Crystal Light. I also got some avocados. I honestly have not really been like the biggest fan of avocados but since i made that salmon bowl last week i was like girl you need to get some more avocados and these are great great fat so these are going to come in clutch on my lower body day so i just got four and yes i feel like i'm starting to like grow in love with them you know what i ain't even gonna for i ain't gonna say in love in like with them for some reason our meal prep containers they be walking away. So I ended up getting this one. I think this pack was like $7. And then I had found this set here at Ross. What was this like? Yeah, $8. So I just thought, honestly, the color was cute. Y'all know I'm on my meal prep game right now. So, you know, aesthetics, okay? But hey, I feel like I cannot have too many meal prep containers right now. I told y'all, the girl that used to avoid meal prepping, procrastinate on meal prep, granted I still procrastinate a little bit, but I used to avoid it completely and just kind of wing it throughout the week. I'm not that girl anymore. I refuse to be that girl anymore because that girl was hindering me, okay? I'm not trying to be stressing myself out, trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat. I just need to have it all prepared. That is the girl I am now. That is the girl that I'm becoming, okay? Oh, and then I got some wasabi sauce, y'all, again. I love that salmon bowl that I made last week. Of course, you know, when you eat sushi at restaurants, cooked of course, I usually always eat the wasabi sauce. So I had to get a little bit of this and this has less than one gram of carb. So I'm about to get ready to make right now. I got a big thing of salmon. Salmon is a great fish for just getting some healthy fats in there. And then I got some chicken because I'm going to be baking some of this just so I can like either shred um, or put on top of the salad. Cause y'all, your girl is about to be eating a lot, lots of salads, probably chicken salads, probably salmon salads, probably ground turkey salads, probably fruit salads, just a lot of salads. <laughs> I want a salmon bowl again. I am like obsessed with those things. What I'm basically gonna be doing is just skipping the rice and just putting like the cucumbers, all the other toppings in there and just seeing how it tastes without the rice. I feel like it's still gonna be good, but I wanted to make it just more of a lower carb friendly option because y'all, I am addicted to those salmon bowls. I feel like I'm gonna turn into a salmon bowl. Also y'all, so I ended up picking up a milk frother, not for the reason y'all are probably thinking I did, I got this for my pre-workout. If y'all don't know, I don't drink like coffee. I'm not a Starbucks girl. You know, I really don't hop on into like the newest drinks that they have at Starbucks and all that stuff. That's just not me. But I was like, you know what? I be having a time trying to blend my pre-workout and just mix it like very well, even with our crystal light. It just has gotten to be a little too much for me. And it's beneath me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use this milk frother for that reason. So matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it now because I actually want some crystal light. I wanna taste the uh, peach ice black tea one because I haven't tried this before. And yeah, I just wanna see what it tastes like. So this is how the frother look i'm sure all y'all probably know what a frother looks like but you know there's always an exception and i'm gonna show this to the exceptions okay just for anybody that doesn't know what it looks like so if i can get it out this is how it looks and it does require two double a batteries but once i put them in there i just pop it in the drink blend it up and it's going to and just mix everything so well so how about we give it a go with the crystal light and see what it's about but i'm excited about this thing this is how i had posted on my instagram story about this but this is how i know i am getting older i'm getting wiser i am adulting because things like this get me excited hey hey one time like 
This is so good. Mmm. Definitely my new favorite Crystal Light flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and just put everything in the air fryer again. The thing I did differently this time was just go ahead and leave the skin on there because last time when I was doing that, I feel like I was losing meat. And salmon ain't cheap, okay? Um, so I want to keep as much meat as possible. So what I'll do is just once I finish, um, cooking it in the air fryer, then I'll just go ahead and cut it off. And I feel like it'll be easier too. Cause I can literally just cut that thing right on off. So this definitely was a better decision. Cook your salmon first and then get the, the skin off if you don't already. Cause y'all look how that, it literally just came off. I love the most I don't know what you see but I see all 